Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here on a Monday, June 12, 2023, your world, your NBA world champions, Denver and Nuggets. Nikola Jokic winning the uh, finals MVP as well. Man, he averaged 30 points, 14 rebounds, seven assists a game. Nikola Jokic, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Big thanks to this group for getting on this break. And congrats to the winners in those two fillers that we did. And there are the uh, there are the teams right there. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a three, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got Chris down to Aaron. Six and a three, nine times four. The teams, no combos, all 30 are in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got Portland down to my Lakers. All right, Chris with the Trailblazers, Martin with the Warriors, Steve with the Pacers, John with the Heat, James with the Pelicans, John with the uh, Clippers, Chris, Cavs, and Bulls, Will with the Timberwolves, Chris with the Magic, Scott with the Jazz, Alexander with the Knicks, Nathan with the Bucks, John with the Spurs and Nets, Will with the Wizards, Mark with the Kings, Stephen K with the Pistons, Roy with the Grizz, Russell with the Suns, John with the Rockets, Jeremy with the Mavs, uh, Russell with the Hornets, Nicholas with the Hawks, John with the Celtics, Eugene with the Sixers, Chris with the Raptors and Nuggets, the world champs, Will with the Thunder, and Aaron with the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's sort by team, alphabetize by team. We're gonna pause the video for just a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. So stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. We got the sirens going on in the background because there's a trade. That's what they were alerting you to. James and Steve making a deal. James is out of the Pelicans spot and into the Pacers spot. And Steve is out of the Pacers spot and into the Pelicans spot. We'll put a T there for trade. We'll see how it works out for both. And let's print and rip. So this is a, this break is going to take a little time. Obviously, we're going to do the base heavy stuff first. We're going to get this Donner's Optic case knocked out first, and then we will get the Leaf ba uh, Best of Basketball going. Here's the final printout, hot off the presses. Thanks everyone. All right, one autograph, bunch of parallels, on-card rated rookies. Right here, and we're looking for the ultra rare photon parallels. I don't think they're one per case. They might even be shorter printed than that. Congrats to the Denver Nuggets. I was asking this earlier. I'll pose the question again. Um, do you think? What effect, if any, do you think the Nuggets winning the finals has on uh, the hobby? Someone was mentioning earlier that that Nikola Jokic cards are already skyrocketing. Does it help any of the players in more more recent rookie classes, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr.? Jamal Murray right there.
Jamal will go up for sure. Joker just a flash for the hobby, I think. That's Steve's hot take. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to someone take a look at the prices now. And maybe we'll look at prices maybe next week and see where, where some stuff has ended up. Yeah, maybe Joker, maybe Jokic, his ceiling is already. I mean, he's already a great player. He's won MVP a couple times. Maybe, like, his greatness has already been priced in. Maybe in a finals MVP and a finals victory is not going to do too much for him. But Jamal Murray worked his way back from injury. He was, was out of people's minds for a long time. And then came back, had a great season, had a great, some great playoff games. Was definitely a big part of this, uh, of this Nuggets team. All right. Here's Nikola Jovic. Not Jokic. Here's Trey Murphy the third to 79. There's Jamal Murray right there. He's out of 10, John Morant stargazing. Evan Fournier, Lion Green to 149. John Morant's gonna go to the Grizz, that's gonna be for Roy. See what happens to him. I think now that the finals are over, the, the hammer might come down on John Morant. Darius Baisley to 99. Gilo saying Christian Braun might go off. He won an NCAA and NBA championship in the same year. Yeah, there might be some people interested in, in Braun. Fifth player to do that. That's it? There's uh, Jason Preston to 149. John with the clip show. And a nice rated rookie hollow Chet Holmgren. Nice one for OKC. That'll be for Will. Where there's a will, that's not, that top loader's not good enough for Chet Holmgren hollow. Where there's a will, there's a way. Will Brockman. It's a spot he got straight up. Appreciate your patience. Nice hollow. Hollow! There's a Jaden Ivey. And a Monty Morris to 199. Jaden Ivey going to the Pistons. That'll be for Stephen K. And the auto is Bryce McGowan's for the Hornets. That'll be for Russell and Charlotte. Yeah, KCP was a great addition to that Denver team. I want to say that Denver made a deal recently, too. The rare mid-finals trade. There was news on this. I don't know. Well, Someone will dig it up somewhere, but they're already positioning themselves trying to... James is wondering, does this signal the return of the big man? Uh, yes and no. I mean, there's just not, there's not a lot of just big men in general out there. So, but I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe teams are gonna start. Yeah, I don't think the classic big man will will come back. Anytime soon. But maybe more teams are willing to to build around big men. Because I think there's so there's so much so much of the league driven by like 
three-point shooting guards, right? But maybe if you can get like a a poor man's version of Nikola Jokic, I'm sure I'm sure people are looking for that. But I mean, you're not going to find another Nikola Jokic out there. Rex saying out of the blue, Lakers trade LeBron during the offseason to the Suns for KD. This doesn't make any sense at all, Rex. Rex is just putting words out there. He just wants to be part of the conversation. Sorry, Rex. Rex not a basketball guy. He's like, I want to be part of it. I'll try to pretend I know what I'm talking about. Let's put something crazy out there. Suns would never do that. I'm sure the Lakers wouldn't mind, though. James, you hated positionless basketball? Yeah, well, I mean, but, like, Shaq's like a unicorn, right? So you're not going to see Shaq too often out there. Robert Williams to 49. Yeah, Denver is a really well-balanced team. I, I mean, they really wouldn't have to add too much to run things back. Is Julius Randle to 199? That's for the Knicks. That'll be for Alex. Oh no, Lo local new sports, no, 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 can't, can't watch local new sports. I want to see more basketball stuff, but may maybe I won't even see that. Maybe, maybe we'll watch uh, live from the U.S. Open. There's Patrick Baldwin Jr. to 199. That's for Martin and the Warriors. That's right, James. KD too soft for my level of sarcasm. There's Jalen Williams for the Thunder. That's a nice one for Will. And Zach Levine is your photon. Chicago Bulls. That's going to be for Chris. Nice. Hmm. Steve th thinking, yeah, Joker does pass like a point guard, but they could get better at point. That's where they can improve. Yeah, they don't have to do too much, but if they improve a little bit there. Um, I wonder, what if they... Uh, Fred Van Vliet's on the market. I don't know what their cap situation is, but... There's another Chet Holmgren, just a base, non-hollow. Oh, ESPN has the post-game pressers. Denver has just, uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy to think that, the, like Gilo was saying, they've got so much, they're well-balanced, you know, so there's, there's no glaring holes. All they really need to do is just add, yeah, maybe some point, maybe add some depth. Wow, here's another Chet Holmgren hollow. Maybe one of these, both of these. Just send both of them, for both hollows in for grading, see, see what, what comes back.
They make Michelob Ultra bottles like that? You see that? There's Jake LaRavia to 79. And Johnny Davis, gold auto, gold rookie auto for Will and the Wizards. You're a wizard, Will. So Will with two hollow Chet Holmgrims. Definitely grade poss grading possibilities there and an out of 10 rookie autograph. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Johnny. You're, you're a wizard, Johnny. Is that a good Hagrid? No, I think I said two out of ten, right? I think he's he's a one. Or I said seven out of ten. Thanks, Chief. I'll take it. Mm, Gilo's thinking maybe Denver needs to needs to unleash Michael Porter Jr. Make him the top pick he was supposed to be. Yeah, I think he was supposed to be doing all the, you know, supposed to be like a number one scoring option, number two scoring option. Man, if he even develops to become that, I mean, that's game over for the league for the next few years. Although the West is pretty deep, right? You know, you know the you know the Suns are not going to rest on their laurels. But that's the thing. I'm, you know, I'm a little. I'm not a Suns fan by many by any means. I'm a Lakers guy. But I'm a little bummed because the Suns were going to be like an example of, just as a basketball fan, the Suns should have been an example of how to home grow your talent and then, you know, turn that into championships like Denver did. A lot of these guys are homegrown. You know, I think they got like some, you know, they added role players like Aaron Gordon and they added like my uh, Casey Contavious Caldwell Pope and, and guys like that. But... But then the Suns just went ahead and just did what the Lakers are, are doing. You know, trade a bunch of assets for superstars, and you're trying to go stars and scrubs with the lineup. I don't know. Like, you look at Denver and how they're constructed. That should be the blueprint for teams. But teams are still trying to, you know. I mean, I guess if Kevin Durant's available, you can't really – say pass on that but there's Kawhi Leonard to 99 but you know what I mean I mean it's just you see the way Denver has done it and then you see the way my Lakers have done it you know with varying levels of success and I don't know wouldn't you rather see like more of your homegrown talent Jimmy Butler get traded this year? I don't think so yeah, what's the post-mortem? I, I know we should revel in Denver's victory, but what's the post-mortem on, uh, on the heat? It's Christian Wood to 149. I don't know. If, I, I can't see Jimmy Butler getting traded. I don't know what his contract situation is, how many years he has left or whatever. There's Bam Adebayo to 149. And there's Dale and Terry. Rated rookie auto for the Bulls. That's for Chris. James James is saying Suns don't have the fortitude. They've got fake tough guys when going gets tough. Yeah, I mean, the Heat are a good team. Yeah, Tyler Hero's wrist is still an issue. You know, I, I mean, would Tyler Hero have made a difference in this series? Maybe. Wow. 
special for them. And I have to really make sure I can show up and select this. There's Trey Jones with the basketball emoji background. I don't think those are too common. Spurs, that's going to go to John. Jabari Smith Jr. for the Rockets, rookie card for John. There's a Malachi Branham, 38 out of 99. That'll be for San Antonio. That's going to be for John. Yeah, would, would Tyler Hero have been the hero? Would he have made the difference? Damian Lillard to the Heat? I mean, you've got like a... That would kind of balance out the team a little bit. You know, if you've got a got a distance, a long range sniper in uh, in Damian Lillard, and then you've got a playmaker like uh, Dan like uh, like Jimmy Butler who can who can drive the ball inside, he can attack inside. That might balance it out pretty nicely. Do they have the assets to move for that? Or are the Trailblazers, do they even want to move Damian Lillard? That would make sense. Yeah, sell, sell that to me, Rex, for, I'll offer 10 bucks, I and mean, that's generous. I'll sell the I'll, I'll ten bucks for that. Mm. I mean, Steve's it's an awfully generous offer, Steve. I don't know. It's really no worth not more than twenty five dollars, Rex. I'll give it to you for twenty five. I'll get break credit. How about twenty five dollars in break credit, and I'll I'll take the uh, I'll take the PSA ten Palo Bancaro. Where'd you get that, Rex? By the way, but uh, yeah, he's gonna be pretty terrible. So I, don't know. I think thirty dollars of break credit is, is more than enough. Zaire Williams to 149. Oh, I think Gilo's got his beat. Yeah, trade him like a, a, a trade him like a Cody Bellinger, Cubs Cody Bellinger card. Gilo, he'll give up that bank hero for you. There's Oshai Agbaji. Oh, James really. <laughs> Rex, how are you gonna shake that deal? James got some uh, Matt Mervis paper. Ooh. You guys are offering things I cannot offer anymore. Herbert Jones to 199. There's Devin Vassell to 99. There's LeBron. We got Andrew Nemhard, seven out of forty-nine, rated rookie blue for the Pacers. That's for James. Got a Jaden Ivy, rated rookie, just base for Detroit. Stephen K.
Valchunas basketball emoji. Wow, what about a Dansby for your Bancaro? No, in all seriousness, Rex, that's a. Uh, I don't know where where you how you ended up with that, but that's a that's a huge that's a huge card. I would hold on to that as long as you can. Um, he just won Rookie of the Year, Paolo Bancaro, and he's supposed to be. Supposed to be a superstar. So, and if he brings the Orlando Magic back to some level of glory. I mean, that car could keep going up. Yeah, Scott Van Pelt's pretty strong, huh? Right, yeah, if Bancaro gets gets an all star nod and Orlando gets to the playoffs, he gets some some national attention there. Yeah, I like SVP a lot. He, he, I, I like him. Uh, he does golf for ESPN too. That he does a great job at, at golf for ESPN. You know, and I and I think he's. You know, it's just the mark of a good broadcaster being able to to kind of touch upon all these different sports, all these issues. You know, and being able to comment on it in a, in, in a poignant way. Hey, speaking of Paolo Bancaro, there he is. Steph Curry to 199. That's for Chris and Orlando. Looks like fans spilling out there. Looks like they seem to be pretty well behaved. Good for them. Here's another uh, photon. This is time it's a rated rookie photon. That is uh, Patrick Baldwin Jr. for Martin Clark, Golden State Warriors. There's Malik Beasley to 99. He was told to hold your Colas, but you may have waited too long. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you have to think, if you're going to hold something, that pretty much means you're holding for the entire, your entire career. There's really no, or, or unless there's like a milestone sort of achievement, you know, would be the good moments to sell. For someone like Oscar Colas, you know, like that's, you just kind of have to, you know, sometimes baseball takes a little bit longer to marinate. You got to, you have to hold on to that for a number of years. Otherwise, just sell it right now. There's Walker Kessler, rated rookie hollow for the Jazz, Scott. So like Paolo Bancaro, I mean... If you don't want to hold for years, you may as well just sell for whatever it is now and then just you just take the, you know, and just just see just you just take that as it is, you know, because there's going to be so many cards where you're going to hold too long or not hold and or not hold long enough. 
stock market. You know, there's always going to be regrets here and there, but just got to make a decision one way or another. Here's Josh Minot, rated rookie signatures. Josh Minot is, I feel like, a blue team. Bluish team. Minnesota Timberwolves. That's going to go to Will and the T-Wolves. Will won that spot in the Philly. All right, next box. But yeah, so like the hold question is, I guess philosophically, everyone might have different definitions of what a hold is, but I mean, that's tricky. If everyone knew when to buy and sell at exact times, you know, like obviously we'd all be doing it. The, that was a good sell. The Kaminga for 1500 yeah, that was good if you sold that last year. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, you could have you could have very well had an excellent season this year and then that could have been a $3,000 car, but you're lucky it wasn't, you know what I mean? You had the potential though. Steve's saying, I can't believe my Randy Moss 2020 flawless three color is at 430 right now on eBay. Offered 550 already, two days left. A lot of times people uh, people will start really bidding things up at the last day or the last hour. I might give that a little more time. Right, Kaminga might go up if, it, if he's traded too. Yeah, I mean, that, that generally happens after tragedies, though, with a lot of players. But I don't know. I mean, going back to Rex's Van Caro, you either just... I think you... My inclination would be to hold, just because you just don't, just don't know what his career is going to be. But I mean, if it's only selling for a couple hundred bucks, why move it? That feels low to me. You know, that could only go up. But even if it drops to like 50 bucks, I mean, it's not, it's not a huge, a huge loss, but you'd be bummed if that turned into a thousand dollar card, like, you know a year or two later. I mean, seems to be pretty popular. He's rookie of the year. Just won it. Yeah, and a PSA 10. Cade Cunningham, Detroit, Stephen K. Abate. And we got a David Roddy, Grizzlies, rated rookie. That's going to go to Roy in Memphis. And obviously we'll do a recap, an autograph recap at the, uh, at the end of this break. And a David Roddy. To 39, black velocity. Looks really sharp. Another one for Memphis. That's for Roy.
Yeah, Steve, I like Jamal Murray, too. Seems pretty humble, Steve saying. Not sure if that injury did it to him. I'm sure that was part of it. I mean, he was trending upward before the injury, and I think that injury really, really just, I don't know, what's the word for it? Just showed him how how fragile an NBA and a pro athlete's career could be. I think I remember hearing some stories about how Jamal Murray, after the injury, he was on the team bus and he was crying and and he was like telling his teammates, oh, they're gonna trade me or they're gonna release me, you know, or something like that. And, you know, he loved being in Denver. He loved being on the team. And, and, and I think he was genuinely, then he's a kid. How old is Jamal Murray? You know what I mean? Like, I know, I know he's like, 26 years old. What was he, 24 when he was had that injury? Think about where you were at 24. And all the pressure. I mean, yeah, he's making a lot of money, but the, the pressures of being on a pro team, if you screw things up, your fans are yelling at you. You know, people are calling for your head on social media and blah, 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 this and, this and that. And so there's a lot of pressure. You don't, you don't know what's going to happen to your career. You, sure, you made a lot of money, but... You've capped your earning potential, you know what I mean? If you're injured and you don't come back from it, blah, 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 blah. It's scary. It's a humbling moment. When you're a kid. You're scared. It's like, is this it? Yeah, his eyes were really red. He was, I think he was crying at moments. But yeah, I mean, that's got to be a humbling experience. And, you know, rehabbing is tough. <laughs> he just got kicked off his parents' health insurance. Although he's Canadian, so I don't I don't know how that works out. He might he might get that delicious delicious Canadian health care forever. through this case and then we'll get to the the good stuff at the end the leaf best stuff. there's Mo Bamba to 149 yeah, as far as I know crying there is crying in basketball but in baseball there's no crying in baseball there's James Harden to 49 sir she's crying Here's Desmond Bain to 79. There's Steph Curry to 149. And you know, Steve, maybe that's why he's so nice. You know what I mean? We were saying you're like, he's a nice guy. Maybe it wasn't the injury. He's Canadian. Maybe he's just the natural... Canadian niceness in him that seems to be bred into 90% of the Canadian population. Josh Christopher to 39. I'm, I'm glad I'm nailing it with the uh, eight-year-old demographics, Heath. Ooh, double gold! I'll take it. There's an RJ Barrett, 5 out of 10. New York Knicks, Alexander. And there's Dennis Schroeder, 1 out of 10 for my Lakers. That's for Aaron. Jabari Smith Jr. rated rookie hollow. Nice. Well, hey, I'm glad I'm glad you guys watched in all seriousness. I'm glad you guys all watched together. 
this isn't, you know, this is intentionally why we have a family-friendly show. We want, we want people to be, you know, parents and kids to be able to watch and collect together. So we do our best to, to keep the cursing at a minimum, <laughs> to keep the topics as family friendly as possible. All right, next up is Rated Rookie Signatures Hollow, Mark Williams. Mark Williams sounds like a blue team to me. Yeah, it's close enough. Charlotte Hornets, that'll be for Russell. Heel team? It's close enough. It's closer to this color, I guess. There's well, yeah. There's no cursing in jazz. Some Instagram seems to be a little looser with that. But I feel like that's that's a demographic that may be a little more accepting of, of cursing. You know. That's right. I'm the Mr. Rogers of Briggs. I don't rock the boat. The middle, middle of the road stuff. All right. I've got a, my voice is like a Ferrari. It's kind of kind of persnickety like a Ferrari too. What are my top Hanks movies, Rex? Wow. That's just... Do I have enough time in this break? Um, well, first of all, I think you have to... There's The Hanks category is so huge, catalog is so huge, that you probably need to break it up into to 80s Hank, Hanks, 90s Hanks, and 2000s this is Hanks. All right? Distinct eras. I mean, you're going from Turner and Hooch, Bosom Buddies, to, to Saving Private Ryan, to Saving Mr. Banks. Is that the one? The Mary Poppins one, Saving Mr. Banks? Right? You know, then you got, yeah, th then you got, then you got to work in a league of their own, sleepless in Seattle, you've got mail, I mean, come on, Castaway, Forrest Gump, what do you, I mean, Toy Stories, I mean, are we talking live action Hanks, right, are we doing comedy Hanks or drama Hanks, you know, are we doing big or are we doing, you right? What, what, what Hanks are we going with? A lot of Hanks. Oh, it's, it's like choosing between your children. You know? There's 11 out of 39, Victor Oladipo. You know, anyone see the uh, the movie? Um, what's it called? The World War II movie that Apple produced. Underrated. It's about uh, the the World War II convoys to uh, to Europe, and they're uh, and they they're trying to avoid uh, submarines. I do love a good World War II submarine movie. Glenn Rice to 99. Miami Heat. That's going to be for John.
Brandon Ingram for Steve. Stay hey in the chat to 199. Money Pit's pretty good, right? Greyhound, that's what it was. Really good, really well shot. I wish that kind of got the big screen treatment. I think it went directly to Apple. But I do love a good, do love a good uh, World War II movie. I mean, then you have the Band of Brothers miniseries that he produced. There's a uh, All Stars '95 and so we're gonna use this card to represent the randomizer. We'll go top bottom on the randomizer on that for all those all those cards. Tobias Harris to uh, 39 for the Sixers. That's going to be for Eugene. Steph Curry. Jalen Williams for the Thunder. That's for Will. That's Santa Clara Jalen Williams. That's the... Uh, I think there's an Arkansas Jalen Williams. But the Santa Clara Jalen Williams is a little more highly touted one. Although the Arkansas Jalen Williams also had a decent season. Chet Holmgren, uh, rated rookie, just regular for Will. All right, four more boxes ago. Almost done with this. Yeah, Band of Brothers is is pretty incredible. I don't know, and you know. You know how people are like, oh, the book's always better? The book's always better, but I think Band of Brothers might be the rare occasion where I think the series is, uh, where the series I think is better than the Stephen Ambrose book, which I've read, which is good, which is good too, but I think, I think there's just so many characters in that company that it's kind of hard to, keep track in the book but when you have faces to names in the series that's a lot it's a lot easier to to follow along with such an eclectic crew and I don't know they don't they, they don't really I don't know sometimes World War II stuff can get a little can get a little uh Get a, get, gets a little too like hero-y, you know? Band of Brothers doesn't do that. I just feel like it's just like one of the more just straightforward, here's how it is. Here's how it happened. Here are the dudes. Let's talk about it, you know? This is the kind of stuff they saw. You know, here are like real, real emotions that, uh, that these guys had to deal with. And, all that sort of stuff. So, really great. I re if, if, if people haven't seen it, I would really recommend, I, it must be on HBO Max, right? That's an HBO series, or just Max nowadays. So I'm pretty sure it's on there. Um, but it's definitely worth Definitely worth a watch. I would highly recommend it. And that's probably... A and, um, and actually probably worth... Uh, the uh, D-Day anniversary wasn't too long ago. Brandon Ingram to 199. And um, it's cool. It takes you from like boot camp through pretty much the end of the war in like, like eight maybe hour long episodes. And um, from the perspective of, um, 
from the perspective of the 101st Airborne. So, like, the, I think this is the first time that there was an actual parachuting group, right? Was that the first time? There's Osmani Dieng to 199. I think that might have been the first time. I mean, the idea of... I mean, you you play enough video games or you watch enough movies nowadays, like, you know, like, what? Parachuting out of a plane is like nothing, right? There's Adrian Dantley. But think about the 1940s. This goes to Scott in Utah Jazz. Think about the 1940s and... And they're like, all right, here's what you guys are going to do. You're going to get paid a little more. What you're going to do is uh, you're going to get on a plane and think about what, I mean, I feel like parachutes are dangerous today. <laughs> Skydiving, right? You know, so think about back in the day, you just get a big bunch of silk fabric that you uh, roll up into a backpack. You're going to jump out of a plane behind enemy lines. Everything you have is going to be on you. So you've got like 80 pounds of gear on your body, right? As you're jumping out of a plane, by the way, you're going to land behind enemy lines and, uh, you know, then you're going to connect with the main driving forces during D-Day. I mean, that's their mission anyway. You know? During like operation, all the different operations they did in like Holland and stuff like that. You're gonna go beyond enemy lines. You're gonna be surrounded, and you're gonna fight your way out. And you're gonna punch a hole somewhere, and you're gonna connect everybody else to where you are. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy talk. Right, 101st and 82nd. Yeah, so you're landing at 17 miles per hour, 100 pounds of gear on your back. The, the only, there's, there's, no, like, there's no like supply truck that you can just be like, oh, I'm out of ammo, let me go, let me go get, a, get a, a case of ammo from the supply depot down the way. Something like that. And you're, what are you gonna do? You, you could break a leg and get stuck in a tree. You packed your parachute wrong. The the thing doesn't open. Blah 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 blah. blah. You lose stuff. You know, there's no GPS. If wind blows you off course, then it's uh, you know, then you're. This is what happened to a lot of those guys on D-Day. They get they got swept. You know, they were getting shot down early. They were 20 miles out 20 miles off course and there's no GPS you're using a, a paper map a paper map <laughs> no Google Earth no satellite photos you know and, you're, and then you're using a tiny compass and uh, let's use landmarks and the stars to navigate good luck Is that right? Fun fact, Steve's saying, 101st is air assault and not airborne anymore. You got a video of a guy stuck in a tree the other day? Yeah, that still happened. <laughs> Rex is thinking, what is scarier, jumping from a plane or coming up, uh, not knowing where you're going to land, or coming up in, on the beach in boats wondering who uh, was going to be waiting for you. I think the, personally, I think the, 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 uh, the beach landing, that's got to be scarier. There's no, uh, like, at least with a parachute, you may have some control over where you're going to end up. You know, like, So, so I feel like I would have at least some degree of control over 
over where I'm going. The boats look claustrophobic. Here's Tyrese Martin to 99. No, I haven't. Well, I'm in the middle of a break. I can't Google it now. Scotty Pippen Jr. Rated rookie card to 199 for the Lakers. Aaron with the Lakers. Another redemption. Kelly Aubrey Jr. to 49 for Charlotte. Right, yeah, a lot, lot of a lot of the a lot of the kids in World War II were kids. A lot of kids lied about their age. EJ Lydell to 79. You know, they, they did a they did a Pacific Theater version of, I think the same producers of Band of Brothers did one for the Pacific Theater. I didn't like that one as much. Let's see, what did you think? Did you, I'm assuming you saw it? It's called the Pacific. <laughs> Interestingly enough, there's Markel Fultz to 149. It's for Chris in Orlando. Peyton Watson for the Nuggets. All right, two boxes to go, and then we'll get into that Leaf best of. The redemption is... It's Walker Kessler. Walker Kessler is a Jazz, right? I think we pulled a Walker Kessler. Uh, Walker Kessler, I think, got some Rookie of the Year votes, if I remember correctly. It's going to go to Scott in the Jazz. All right, two boxes to go, and then we'll do those Leaf Best of Basketball. Yeah, I liked the, the I suppose I, I agree with you on that. I suppose I like the, uh, you know, it's such a different set of tactics, right? So I like the tactical elements of it, but. But uh, yeah, no, I was just going I think it just shut itself off. Yeah, Steve just couldn't imagine uh, with Pacific being on a uh, defined locate, nowhere to go, limited space move, little dots, trying to using machetes to carve out like uh, <laughs> airstrips. You're on the ocean for a long time. Wow. Nice, John. John did uh, 25 years in SOCOM, spent most of my career on status with 174 jumps. 100% disabled through VA now, but can still break cards. There you go, John. Glad you're on our side. Um, my colleague Nick Jaspi, who runs things around here, his dad 
who used to work for Tops and Upper Deck for a long time. His dad was a uh, CB in the Navy. Can do. It's Anthony Davis to 149. It's for the Lakers. That'll be for Aaron. More Anthony Davis. I guess those basketball emoji cars are a little more common than I thought originally. And a Paolo Bancaro autograph? Yes! Uh, I, I wish I could do like a Marv Albert. Yes! Yes! Or a Mike Green. Bang! That goes to Chris and the Orlando Magic. The Paolo Bancaro. Rated rookie on card autograph. I feel like he's a redemption in a lot of products, right? But live in this one. It's alive. No, that's for uh, that's for Chris, the artist formerly known as Carl. Anthony Davis to 99. Got some Anthony Davi in this box. That's going to all go to Aaron W. and the Lakers. Jakob Pertl to 199. Yeah, that was indeed on card. Anthony Edwards. And last box coming up. Bang! We got firecrackers in the intersection. We got a little little mosh pit here. People jumping up and down. People throwing water bottles. Seems seems relatively calm though. Yeah, take it easy, guys. Keep it chill. That was a big fire, firecracker. Jimmy Butler being interviewed here. Uh, Jimmy Butler apparently is like some sort of a uh, coffee connoisseur. He's trying to sell some coffee. I think I looked up, I wanted to buy like a bag of his coffee. And it's, uh, it's really expensive. <laughs> uh, do I see the video of the soccer game where it looked like people in San were on fire? But it's people lighting flares. No, but I've watched soccer long enough where I've seen many videos and photos of, of that. <laughs> 
Flares are a thing in soccer. I don't think I can... I don't know how they get those into the stadium, though. There's Bobby Portis to 79. There's Dorian Finney-Smith to 149. Steph Curry to 99. I mean, usually it's like smoke canisters that they'll take out there, but every once in a while the flare well, every once in a while, the flare will get out there, and that that's it's kind of scary. It's kind of hot flares. There's a uh, the rookies, Jaden Ivy Hollow. Victor Oladipo to thirty nine. David Roddy, Desmond Bain to 79, and the final auto is Derek Harper, 50 out of 99. Dominators autograph for Dallas, Jeremy. Evan's brother. And that is that for the case. We made it. Now, let's see uh, the nice little cherry, solid break too. <laughs> I, I care about the footy. A lot of English Premier League soccer for me. All right, so what do we got in here? Leaf Best of Basketball, one buyback card or signed memorabilia redemption per box. Good luck. There's a chance, maybe, maybe there won't be, maybe it'll be a moot point, but there's a chance that if they're in their college uniform, Right, it'll go to whatever team they're on on the checklist. Now, if there's no checklist for it, it'll go to the team they played for the longest if they're retired or the team they're currently on if they are active. Hopefully, we don't have to run into those issues. We've got... Wow. It's OKC Thunder edition of Kevin Durant. From 13, 14, select basketball, blue parallel. Edges, corner surface, all a 9.5. The centering is a 10 for a 9.5 grade. The auto is a 10. The card is number thir 3 out of 20. Wow. And that's Will with the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's pretty nice. Goes along with those hollow Chet Holmgrims. Oof. Another graded card. We got a PSA 9. Kobe! From 1996 tops. Oof. That is awesome. That would be rookie Kobe, right? 1996? 
That's a nice one for Aaron and the Lakers. Miss Kobe. Miss that guy. I don't I didn't know him personally, but I think a lot of LA does. Yeah, that's right, Will. Bang! Expect the unexpected here at Jaspies. Hey, Matt Arnold, congrats, man. Here we are. We did it. The Denver Nuggets, world champions. Well deserved. Well deserved. Yeah. Got a nice basketball break on right here, too. All right, next up we've got 32 out of 99, Jalen Williams, playoff ticket, rookie auto. That's another one for Will. Bang! That is nice. All right, <laughs> what else is in here? Got another PSA 9. It is Joe Dumars from 1986 Fleer. A bad boy. Who I think, ironically, is now part of the... I think he's the executive that in the NBA that delivers fines and punishments or something like that. Isn't he? No, he's like the man now. He's like, he's like a boss now. He used to be a rebel. And now he's a boss. All right, two more to go. Non graded. We got a LeBron jersey. Aaron with the Lakers, sensational relic from Prism Basketball from 2019-2020. Nice. All right. Next one. Right. Now he's part of like the, you know, he's part of like the disciplinary committee or something like that. Joe Dumars. Once a rebel, and now, what is he doing? I mean, he's executive vice president, head of basketball operations for the NBA, but I think he's part of the disciplinary department. Anyway. Now he's the grown up in the room. Oh, yeah, we're absolutely going to be watching USA Mexico. Uh, I guess I'll be working. I'll be here. So that should be a fun match. No, you can't miss the parade. Oh, you got to go. Oh, you're already, you're going. That's right. I remember the conversation now. You got to go to the parade though, no? Here is Trey Young. Atlanta Hawks. That's going to go to Nicholas. Nice, nice autograph. And there you go. There you go, gang. Appreciate you getting in. Thank you very much. Let's do that quick randomizer and we'll do a recap. Nice break. Thanks everybody for getting in. And there's what, two wax party invites in this break. That's true, Scott, you're right. I guess he would be an expert in seeing through players' shenanigans. All right, so one dice, two lists. We'll do the top bottom first, and that card will represent all the cards that have the multiple teams on there. And then, of course, everyone has a shot at the two wax party invites. Let's roll it and randomize it four and a two, six times. Let's do this card first. One, two, or all the cards that had the dual two teams on it, four, five, and six. So the top side, we'll get him. We're going top side. So the team on top will get those cards. 
Now, the wax party invites. Let's uh, use the same dice roll, four and a two, six times. Top two, after six, wax party invites. Fingers crossed, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, oh, four and a two, six times, yep, just confirming. Six times, 28 sad spots. From Will down to Russell and everybody in between sad times, but appreciate you trying. Listen, there's still a lot of opportunities to get into these invites too. But happy times though for the top two. Eugene is happy. And John is happy. There you go. John was like, man, let's go wax party. I struck out. You spoke it into existence, John. There you go, man. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks so much. Let's do a quick recap. Walker Kessler, Isaiah Stewart, 10, Mark Williams, we got the Jabari Smith Jr. hollow, we got the, the double gold in that one box, we got some Photon, we got more Ben Caro, we got out of 10 Johnny Davis, we got hollow Chet Holmgren, got another Photon, another hollow Chet Holmgren, John Morant at 10, and a Paolo Ben Caro autograph, no big deal, no big deal. And the Leaf Best Of, that was nice. Look at those guys. Some graded cards, some Jalen Williams, 96 Kobe, KD, OKC edition. Man, this, this break was marinating for a little bit, but I, th I think it was well worth the wait. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.